If you're stargazing in 2025, here's what to look for. First off, you can go out right now and see six planets in the night sky, but starting towards the end of February, you can see all seven of the other planets in what's called a great planetary alignment. This will only be visible right after sunset, but it's sure to be pretty incredible. I'm also really looking forward to hopefully seeing more of the Aurora Borealis. We saw a lot of it in 2024, and we're right in the middle of the solar cycle, so hopefully that trend will continue into this year. On the 29th of March, a partial solar eclipse will be visible across Canada and in some parts of Europe. And then on the 21st of September, there's another partial solar eclipse that'll only be visible from some of New Zealand and Antarctica. I also really love a good meteor shower. It's just nice to go find a dark spot and lie down and watch the shooting stars. The best meteor shower in the Northern Hemisphere this year isn't until December, and that's the Geminids. But I've often had really good luck with the Perseids, which should be really impressive and are happening in August. It's always a good time to get out there and look up at the stars.